other side. We were just in Los Angeles. If you missed that video, click up here. It's a good one. But in this video, we couldn't be more excited to share with you all the amazing spots we're about to see in Malibu. I know I'm wearing this shirt, but I've never been to Malibu. Malibu's slogan is 21 miles of scenic beauty. So we hope to prove that right in this video. If you guys know us, you know that we love our Cali case. It's an underwater phone case that also floats. And we've been bringing this thing with us all throughout our four month road trip. We're gonna talk about it a little bit more later on in the video, but let's get started. Woo! We are currently at Malibu Bluffs Park, right across the street from the famous Pepperdine University. Wow, imagine going to school right there on the ocean. For those of you coming to this area and interested about Malibu, here's some facts. There's about 13,000 people that live in Malibu. A lot of them are some famous celebrities you guys probably know, like Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus, Pierce Brosnan, Mel Gibson, to name a few. I just think it's very, very interesting to know that we're in the same area as them right now. Let's head to our first beach here in Malibu. So our first stop is not really a beach at all. It's called Point Doom and it's a natural preserve that's a 360 degree view of the Malibu area and especially the coastline. Here you can see falcons, sea lions down below or even whales February through April. We have made it up to the top of Point Doom and wow, the views all the way around, especially over here is unbelievable. You can see like a super yacht out there. And on the other side is Westward Beach. This is a long, long stretch of beach with the turquoise blue waters. And there's another viewpoint down there. Just exceptional, exceptional views from up here. Well, we started van life because of COVID and that's definitely the safest way to travel here in the United States during this terrible pandemic. There's another reason it's not packed at all here is because it's November 2nd. So it's late into the year, but it's perfect weather right now. The water's definitely a little chilly, probably 65 degrees. just sat down and took it all in. This may be one of the prettiest places we've ever been to. It really reminds me of our time in Indonesia, kind of the Nusa Penida area. On this side, we have a white sand beach that's more like a cove, and then this side is kind of like a regular beach, but both are really pretty, and you can access both from the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. We also saw dolphins. It's been a good day so far. We have made it below these massive cliffs. Anna was right, this is exactly like Nusa Penida with the waves crashing. It is just epic down here, not too many people. What would you say is better, Malibu or Nusa Penida? For those that don't know, we have a lot of Southeast Asian followers and I'm gonna be truthful about this one. Americans, don't be butt hurt, but I really, really think Nusa Penida and most of Indonesia is unbeatable. <laughs> to go on these long road trips where we can find a lot of things. If you're on a short road trip, we highly recommend Point Doom. It is so beautiful and obviously this beach, you'll figure out how to get here. You can see dolphins, we saw sea lions, and there's tons of birds, and we're having so much fun, and there's a really pretty sunset. I'm really hyper. Boom. I'm gonna do that a lot this trip because the Oregon coast got me excited, but I think the California coast has all the vibes and more. Waves crashing, this is just a perfect start to our day on the coast. Malibu is definitely a more expensive area, so for budget travelers, we probably won't be eating out a lot here. Of course, we can always cook, but we just wanted to show you what we do before we head into day two. I'm making pasta with eggplant and onion, and then I have vodka sauce that is just in a jar. I'm not making that from scratch on the road, don't worry. This is what we do here in the Woot Woot Mo Van. We're about to head into day two, but Anna has made the most delicious meals on this road trip. If you wanna watch the whole series, press up here. It starts all the way from the beginning where we build out this van, the Woot Woot Mobile, we call it. Let's get ready for day two. Woot Woot! Good morning, it is about 
about 10 a.m. here in Malibu. We are just getting ready for our day. Our buddy Brian Spicer from Cleveland, who now lives in LA, invited us to go to a creator house today. Whenever we're kind of gonna see people, we get really nervous because we don't know if we smell. I haven't washed my hair in like five days. I put a bunch of baby powder in it. To make myself feel better, Ian is brushing his teeth with a toothbrush that fell on the floor yesterday, so. Currently, I'm shaving in my car with Anna's makeup mirror. This is what we have to do. I would say we clean up pretty well in a van. Look at her. She's so pretty. We are ready to go have some fun and then spend the rest of the day beach hopping here in Malibu. Okay, so here's Ryan. What do you do in this area and what got you here? What came out here, I was working with artists and I was working with Warner Records. That's kind of what brought me out here. I was on tour after school for like, like, I don't know, three years. I had an opportunity to move out here and I took it and it's going real good. Brayden. Hey, welcome to the cocoon. One of the most special places in California and frankly the world. This place is an artist incubator, a music studio, creative wonderland. This is the vibe here. of this place. You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah, right. very chill. I, I, I had no preparation right You're now. fine. Like, I wasn't wearing a shirt like <laughs> 10 minutes ago. Like, that's just kind of how this place is. You come, kick back, create. Something super cool is one of their neighbors is one of the owners of Paul Mitchell, and he's also the one that created Patron, so like, pretty crazy. That's mega there. money. <laughs> and I'm really excited that we got to bring this aspect of Malibu into this vlog because obviously we would not have been able to show you this if it weren't for Spicer. I mean, the properties around here are insane. I'm about to overlay the drone footage that I got here, and you can see in the background that mega mansion. You have a nice property. Just letting you know if you ever see this, we love seeing it on the drone. Ryan's checking out the Woo Woo Mobile. Anna's giving him a little tour. I got a girlfriend because if not, girl in here is clean, and if he didn't have her, I don't know what it would be. It would be a sh show, excuse my language, but yeah, Anna definitely keeps it nice. We're gonna say bye to Ryan for now. Thanks, Ryan, for taking us around Malibu. Till next time. See ya. See you in Bali. It was so much fun checking out Cocoon Malibu and hanging with you, Ryan. Thanks for bringing us around. The views from up there were amazing. And fun fact, we didn't even bring it up, but Ryan goes around the country and is also the brand manager of Joey Reed and Touche. They're TikTokers that went viral with the dance and they're still viral. They're actually doing a TikTok tomorrow with Jason Derulo. So, so El Matador Beach. Uh, we really wanted to come here for sunset because a lot of people have told us it's the best place for the sunset. So we're gonna take it in here tonight. Here is El Matador with the rock formations. Birds are flying around. You got beautiful houses along the coastline. chilly here today in Malibu so I got my sweatshirt on. It's giving me Oregon coast vibes because when we were there I was always wearing something warm. It was very cold and also this view looks like the Oregon coast with these rocks jutting out of the water. Woo! How fun! <laughs> <laughs> so much fun! Woo! If I had one night to take in the sunset here in Malibu and you're kind of rushing through the area, I recommend Westward Beach because it's way less popular and crowded. This beach has a ton of people taking in the sunset. Honestly, I think the sunset goes down directly over the ocean in Westward Beach. Here, it's kind of to the right. Here's my two cents for the day and it's about to get sassy. Somebody had a confetti celebration photo shoot clearly because there's confetti all over the sand and they didn't pick it up. And that pisses me off because one, it's littering. Two, you're abusing this beautiful property that people are letting you come to for free and you're gonna ruin it for everybody else. So please make sure to treat our earth good, guys. It's so easy. I know every one of these dots would be hard to pick up, but I promise it probably doesn't take more than 20 minutes and I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna do it. There's so many. Holy shoot. Humans, stop sucking. There you go. All right, we're gonna end the vlog here tonight. We'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Woo!
Good morning from the Malibu Pier. It is a stunning view and it's a beautiful morning. The past two days we've woken up and it's been very foggy out. Today is blue skies. This is Malibu Farm. If you're interested, they have great smoothie bowls. We're not gonna get one, but we know they're good because Jake, Ian's brother, got one when we were with him in Newport. I totally recommend coming to the pier if you have some time here and some extra money, like $30 to have breakfast and coffee on the pier. Just having a little hot dog bun hummus sandwich with veggies on the highway before we head to Malibu Beach right across the street. Yeah, we need the fuel because I might be swimming. Well, I officially do not want to leave Malibu. We are so... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you scared me. But I just went into the ocean and it was so calming and nice. I miss swimming in the ocean. It's a bit chilly, but did you see those mountains and the watercolor from above? Like, oh my gosh. I'll show you how durable this bad boy is, the Cali case. We're about to go swimming with it and have some fun. If you guys are interested in getting the Cali case, there's a link down in the description below and you could use our code, the other side, to get 20% off. I like to call this thing making your phone into a $26 GoPro, especially with our 20% off code. You're gonna want it for your upcoming road trip or vacation, so definitely check them out. Keep it safe and it's a cheap way to do that. Good morning. Today we're gonna do another full beach day, but before we do that, we had to make our way out to Santa Monica about 20 minutes to see my brother and his now fiance. If you guys watch the Joshua Tree vlog, then you know that that's where he proposed. So yes, here they are. We're here in the proper, which is probably one of the best hotels here in Santa Monica. It's so pretty, there's Anna. And then here are the two newly engaged. Yes. This is Connor, my oldest brother and Sloan, his now Hi. fiance. So down, down in the comments, give him a congrats, guys. Give us a whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! Shout out to Connor and Sloan for letting us bum a shower off of them. We kind of have a feeling this might be the last real shower we'll get on the remainder of our trip, so it was huge for us. That hotel was one of the coolest hotels we've ever seen. The architecture as well as the um, designs inside and the furniture, everything was so intricate. And now we're just gonna head back to Malibu where we belong. Don't get me wrong, we came to congratulate Sloan and Connor, but the shower was nice, so thanks guys. Now, Zuma Beach, here we come. Woo! We have just arrived to Zuma Beach, and the funny thing about it is that it's connected to Point Doom and Westward Beach. Point Doom's right there where we were at the first night, and yeah, just one long stretch of beach. It goes on forever. So I feel like if you guys have been watching this long into the video, that means you're interested in coming to this area, maybe with a van just like us. If you Instagram DM us, definitely go check out our Instagram and follow us. We like to keep up with people on there. You could ask us where we parked for five nights here without a problem or a ticket. We'll let you know. We just don't want to put it on here and kind of expose an area. And and for all other parking purposes when you're coming to Malibu, you definitely can just park on the Pacific Coast Highway. Don't pay for parking, it's not worth it. It doesn't get you that much closer. So we ended up only staying at Zuma for an hour, which was a perfect amount of time. Here's our one day itinerary. We suggest waking up, going on the pier, um, maybe grabbing coffee and eating at Malibu Farm if you want, then hopping right over to Malibu Beach, watching surfers, laying out, and then end your day at either Point Doom or El Matador. I think those are the mo two most unique beaches here in Malibu. Look at this place. I love it so much. I can't believe something like this is in America. I'm really sad to be leaving you Malibu, but we gotta go up the coast and I know there's much more to see in this amazing state of California. I don't know what's gonna top Malibu though. We'll have to see. I'm just like Anna. I don't want to leave this place ever, but we must go on. We're going up the coast all the way up to San Francisco through Big Sur, so get excited for that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Next time on the other side. Now we are headed up the coast from Malibu. That's our starting point all the way up to San Francisco, hitting the legendary Big Sur. 